I had to blow the cobwebs off this one, the OEX Bush Pro Bivy. It's been a long time since it's seen the light of day. This was the first bivy bag I ever brought, first bivy bag I ever used, and it served me well, so I thought I'd give it a little credit. So this is the OEX Bush Pro Bivy review. The OEX Bush Pro Bivy is developed from 40D 38T ripstop nylon and is equipped with fully taped seams and a hydrostatic head of 5000 millimeters. It has an adjustable pull cord opening and one internal valuables pocket. When laid out, the dimensions of the Bush Pro Bivy are 245 centimeters by 95 centimeters and it weighs in at a total of 360 grams. So let's talk about the stuff sack. It's developed from the same material as the Bivy itself, that 40D 38T ripstop nylon. It has a roll top opening and a clip closure, which is also a nice feature as it allows you to clip it to the side of your pack. As this is, is not necessarily how it can be. It can be compressed even more to make it even more so compact. The OEX Bush Pro Bivy comes only in this nice green color, making it ideal for wild camping or stealth camping or weighing in at only 360 grams ultra light camping with how lightweight and compact it is. Now, one of the features of the Bush Pro Bivy I really like is how large the internal area is. For example, my Highlander Hawk Bivy bag would be impossible to fit a roll mat inside with you, with your sleeping bag and yourself tucked in just be too tight of a squeeze. Whereas you could fit a sleeping pad in here with you, no issues and still have room to maneuver. Adjustable pull cord opening. Not my favorite, works as it should, no issues with it, it's just not my favorite. I've never really liked the restrictiveness of crawling into a bivy bag from the top. I much prefer the wider access bivvies. Uh, the bivvies with the zips just makes access that much easier. Um, but again, that's personal preference. The internal valuables pocket is not great. Not only is it small, the other trouble is there's no Velcro or zip on there to keep whatever is in there in there. So when you bed down for the night in this sleeping bag, you put your phone or your torch into the valuables pocket, you'll almost certainly wake up and that phone or torch that you stash within your valuables pocket would have disappeared into the abyss that is the large internals of the Bush Pro Bivy. And so you'll be faced with a bit of a treasure hunt in the morning. Let's talk water, waterproofing, condensation. A 5,000 millimeter hydrostatic hair rating is impressive and any time this has been introduced to inclement weather, it's never failed me. Condensation on the other hand is a different animal. There isn't much condensation, but there isn't zero condensation. It's a strange one because the only condensation I've ever encountered when using this bag seems to be at the foot end. That's where all the condensation accumulates, the foot end. So I'll wake up in the morning and the foot end of my sleeping bag will be damp. Not majorly damp, nothing too severe, but damp. So as I mentioned before, this was the first bivy bag I ever brought, first bivy bag I ever used when this channel was but a seedling. Never used it before, this is the first time tonight, and let's read what the labels have to say, so. OEX, Bush Bivy Waterproof Sleeping Pod. I entrusted this bivy during inclement weather or during rain tests on tents or condensation if it was super bad. I entrusted this bivy to keep me dry and it never failed me. Sleep system, same as we used on the last overnighter. We've got the Trail Outdoors roll mat and OEX Bush Pro Bivy. And for the price, which hovers around 40 to 45 pounds and has been the same for the last two years, I'd say for anyone who's looking to get into camping or looking to purchase a bivy bag, but doesn't want to break the bank and still have a reliable source of protection, the OEX Bush Pro Bivy is a good start.